Hey guys, this is DeepMan and uh, in this tutorial I'm going to address a very commonly asked question which is uh, how do you display a, um, a label on top of the chart? Okay, So just uh, to start with I'll just get rid of everything that I have and uh, this study as well. So this, uh, let's assume we have or we do have a blank chart and then on this we'll take a look at how to add a label. So uh, to demonstrate that, let's just take the example of MACD, okay? So, I mean, you can pick whatever your favorite indicator is or whatever that you prefer to display on the top, you can do that. So what we'll do is uh, we'll add this study. When, you know, you have this little lock, which means you can't edit this, but you can create a copy of this and edit it, okay? So we'll just add this selected uh, study, hit the apply button, and uh, here's your standard MACD, okay? So there's like, a, you know, uh, two components of MACD that you need to be familiar with. The cyan line is your actual MACD, right? And uh, I'll show you the code in a second. And this yellow line is the nine period moving average of the MACD. So when the MACD is trading above the uh, moving average, it's bullish, right? And uh, for some people, they also want to see if the MACD actually crossed above the zero line. So this is this is kind of like the bullish phase for them. And here's when, you know, you can trade the take the trade off and then once it starts to drop below zero you can short it right so again i'm not telling you how to use macd but as you can see there's no label here right so let's just take a look at this study and what we'll do is we'll just uh, copy this study uh, control all and control c and then we'll create a new study out of this okay so we'll just take this and uh, MACD and just call it MACD underscore label, right? So, so you, anyway, so this is basic code for uh, the MACD, right? The MACD is nothing but it's the difference of the 12 period moving average, and uh, subtracted from that is the 26 period moving average. That's exactly what MACD is. So, it's nothing fancy as long as you understand. Uh, what moving averages are uh, this is uh, this is it basically the difference between 12 period and from that subtract the 12 period moving average and then this average is the 9 period moving average of MACD right so this is your value and then uh, you apply a nine. so now let's say we want to add a label where we want to display the value of MACD the MACD is actually this value right uh, it's labeled as value so let's just uh, go ahead and uh, we'll add a function called add label okay and so in add label there's a couple of different components the first is like whether you want to display it or not so of course we want to display it so we just say yes second is the actual you know the literal string that you want to display so we want to call it uh, you know MACD of course right MACD uh, and you say equals and we close the uh, the literal string that we want to display here, right? And in this, we're going to actually append the value of MACD or, or the, the thing that we want to display, which is which is labeled here as uh, value, right? So, and for whatever reason, I messed it up. So we'll go again. Yes, MACD equals, and then we'll add the actual value and then after this, in the last part, we have to display a color, right? So let's say we want to display this in yellow. So that's pretty much it, right? So that's the function that enables you to <coughs> display a value. So let's hit the OK button. And let's see. Now, interestingly, as you can see, <coughs> we're displaying the value of MACD here. The actual value is getting displayed, right? But let's say we want to be a little bit more sophisticated when it comes to displaying the color. We can say when MACD is trading above the yellow line, then you know display it as green, and when it is below the yellow line, we'll display it as red. So let's see how do we do that, right? So let's just uh, uh, you know edit this uh, piece of code again <clears throat> at the bottom, right? So what we'll do is we'll uh, say here. We just add an if condition. So if um, value is greater than average, right, then color dot green. Else if value is less than average, then color dot red. Else color dot yellow. Okay. 
so now let's just uh, you know apply here okay we don't need this one the upper one so we're going to just look at so it's, now as you can see since the MACD is trading above the moving average you know the color has changed to green but let's say if you want to get even more sophisticated and say okay I only want to uh, display green when it is uh, above the moving average as well as above the zero line right so how do we do that it's pretty straightforward now that you know the basics of it so now what we'll say is if value is greater than average and val value is greater than zero right then show color green otherwise if value is less than average and value is less than zero <coughs> Uh, then color dot red. Okay, this is hit apply. Okay, apply, hit okay. Now, as you can see, this is yellow, right? Because although the MACD is above uh, the average line, it's trading below zero. Now, let's look at another example. So, in this case, um, as well, uh, it, it is actually displayed in yellow. Let's see if we can find an example where uh, it is crossed above. Maybe let's look at this on a five minute chart or something and uh, you can see now this is green right because this thing MACD is above the average and it is uh, above the zero line right? but what if we want to display this thing uh, without displaying the actual indicator on your chart above how do you do that okay so let's take a look at that so uh, here's what you have is a, a couple of functions which are which you see which are called the plot function the plot function is basically telling the code that you need to plot this or you need to show this line since we don't want to show these lines on the upper chart because all we care about the price we can change this to something called define which means you know this is just the actual value of it and uh, let's go change this define and uh, same thing define and then I really don't care about displaying some of this part of the code okay so this is the <coughs> you know this is displaying the actual colors and so on and so forth which I don't want to display okay so now this is saying you know lower which means you know this is a lower study what we'll do is we'll change it to do a study called upper and then let's see what happens here so the study from here has disappeared and what you have is your MACD now actually getting displayed at the top right so here you go so these are all um, the ones where um, and let's just add MACD the original one just so that we know that we did everything correctly so in this case it should be above the zero line and it should be above the moving average just as you can see on the five minute it's green let's look at other examples um, this is yellow because it is below the zero line and uh, so it's red because it's below the zero line and below the moving average right so that's a very simple uh, and efficient way to plot some indicators that you like on top of the chart without displaying the study because sometimes you have limited real estate but you want to see more data on the top so hopefully this helps i will see you guys in my next video